morning all. Bit fresh. Well, not too bad. Sun's out. Um, quick video. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole process because um, that's a bit boring. Um, but um, I got some fantastic blanks from uh, HD Up Here Designs and um, Pinecone Hybrids. Um, got a few different ones from them um, just to have a, an experiment with. Never done these before. So um, I'm just going to go show you a little bit about it and how it turns. Uh, they drilled up no problem at all, I have to say. They were really easy to drill. Uh, they seem to have glued up all right. Um, I tend to use Gorilla Glue anyway. Um, so, I, you know, touch wood, I don't have, have any problems. All right, so I'm going to crack on. Um, no commentary throughout it. Um, but I will put a bit of, uh, bit of music on if you can hear it over the lathe. All right, thank you. Right, the, first of all, um, obviously I've put my main safety glasses on, um, but they seem a bit, um, a few chips coming off. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, put on the old, um, the old visor. First impressions, really good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like normally wearing a visor. It's where I've got safety glasses, but um, you know, sometimes you need to. All right, I'll uh, see you again later on. All right, so I've got down to where I start actually shaping the pen now, and and obviously um, sizing it up and things. Um, I found with roughing it down that um, where the pine cone um, is, you tend to get some large chips coming out. And I don't know if there's any way to avoid that. Um, I've sharpened my tools uh, before I start anyway, and I've resharpened them as well halfway through while I was off air. So um, I'm not sure of a way, if there's any way around it, or you just have to, to go with it. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions, stick it down below. All right, I'm going to crack on. Right, um, bit of a um, accident, shall we say? Um, I was worried about it because where the pine cone is right on the edge, um, it's literally just sheared off. I'll take the camera off in a minute and show you a close-up and and then I'm gonna um, attempt to repair it all right 
but some of this video is now turning into how to uh, how to repair it. Um, well, we'll see if we can repair it. I should be able to, but we'll see. All right, I'll just show you two seconds. So, there you go. Just there. Unfortunate, but it happens. So, what I'm going to do, excuse me a moment, is I'm going to try and build that up now um, with some um, some other humble wood and um, see if we can repair it. I hope so, because it's a, a lovely blank, as you can see. All right. Um, but hey-ho, it happens. I'll, um, I'll let you know. Right. So what I've got here are... Um, I always keep a lot uh, some of the shavings from like the historical ones like the Lee Enfield uh, rifle butts and Tiger Moth planes stuff like that just in case you've got to do repairs now looking at looking at this and um, this sort of it's not quite as dark as that where it is in some places but it's light in others so what I'm going to do I'm going to try a mix of both with a bit of super glue and then build it up all right I'll come back to you in a moment so hopefully we had to see that um, I've just built it up slowly. I've mixed a, a couple of these up with some some um, heavy super glue, um, and then just mixed it up and got the best colours I can, as close to I can. You know, it doesn't look very pretty. All right, and that's fine. Um, again, it's better to have too much and too little. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go through the whole process again. All right, um, I'll let you know what that uh, looks like. Maybe later today. Maybe tomorrow.